You're listening to the BBC World Service, where our series, The Three Pillars of Trump, continues. President Trump made health care one of his priorities. The opioid crisis is an emergency, and I'm saying officially right now it is an emergency. It's a national emergency. But his critics say he's not doing enough to call something an emergency and then to do nothing about it. It's as if you're pointing to a burning building and then you don't call the fire department, you watch it burn down. Our series exploring President Trump's impact on three major pillars of government concurrent with his response to a public health crisis. Families don't need to hear excuses from government. And they don't need to hear bickering from government. And they don't need to hear Democrat or Republican from government because drugs don't care. They'll kill you just the same. The Three Pillars of Trump at bbcworldservice.com slash documentaries. Welcome, this is News Day from the BBC World Service with Shaima Khalil and Paul Falcon. Hanging on till the last minute, Jacob Zuma finally resigns as South Africa's president. What comes next? And he was Zimbabwe's struggle for democracy. Morgan Chandrai, the man who challenged the rule of former President Robert Mugabe, then became his prime minister, died after suffering from colon cancer. And Matthew Kenyon's got all the sports news, including a Real Madrid comeback after the latest sports news with Jerry. BBC News with Jerry Smith. A former pupil has opened fire at his school in Florida, killing at least 17 people and injuring a dozen. Police have arrested the suspected gunman, 19-year-old Nicholas Cruz, who was expelled from the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School for disciplinary reasons. South Africa has a new acting president, Cyril Ramaphosa, after Jacob Zuma resigned as president on Wednesday night. A senior official of the governing African